Like for real though, right? I mean, isn't there plenty of places for you can park? Like, there's a substation right there. You could park there, couldn't you? I'm one, two, three, four. I see four open parking spots inside the Daytona Beach substation. And you can't park there. You've got to park. You've got to park in the no parking anytime zone while you give out parking tickets. You don't see a problem with the hypocrisy there? This is a public service. How are you guys? I'm pretty good. How about you? Got a question. Like, is hypocrisy like it's no big deal for you guys? Like you're parked in a no parking any time zone. Huh? That sign says no parking any time. Yes, sir. And you just issued a, a like for real though, right? I mean, isn't there plenty of places for you can park? Like there's a substation right there. You could park there, couldn't you? I'm one, two, three, four. I see. I see four open parking spots inside the Daytona Beach substation. And you can't park there. You've got to park. You've got to park in the no parking any time zone while you give out parking tickets. You don't see a problem with the hypocrisy there? What's that? I didn't hear you. What did you say? Well, I'm, I'm curious about the hypocrisy. You're not concerned about police hypocrisy? It doesn't bother you, does it? If you are, can you please If I'm what? If you are, explain to me that. Explain. Well, I. I, I I'm, I'm willing to listen. Okay. Here's my, here's my issue. Yes, sir. There's five parking spots available inside the Daytona Beach Police Department parking lot. That's, yes, it's literally right there. It's less than 50 feet from here. Right? But you decided you decided to park in the area that says no parking anytime while you issue actual parking tickets. If if I parked here, would I get a ticket? If you were inside your vehicle, you were inside your vehicle, you wouldn't. Really? Really? You can park here. As long as, I'm not going to write someone a ticket if they're in their vehicle. That's kind of messed up. You don't think that's messed up? I think this is messed up. <laughs> that you're issuing parking tickets from an area that says no parking anytime. You're clearly parked. Well, the main issue is that vehicle is parked the wrong direction. Listen, I don't even care about that. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, if I don't have an issue with that. I have an issue with the, the hypocrisy. Like, just park in the parking lot. You know what I mean? I got you, man. What was your name? Officer Pace. Price. Price. Yes. Do you have an identification number? Yeah, Delta 34613. All right, right on. Do you want me to write that down for you? No, that's all right. I got it on, on okay. video. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. How's your guys' night going? Well, you know. Anything good? No, really. like besides this. Like, I'm just saying in general, how's your night going? It's, my night's going pretty good. Anything yeah. good with, like, the truck events or anything? Not really, no. 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 No, this, the, this hypocrisy right here is the highlight, really. Anything else good tonight? <laughs> no, like, besides this, like, uh, it's a serious question. Like, any other good videos? Um, like, I'm not even, like, being funny. Like, I just, No, not really. Because, honestly, like, I watch your guys' videos. Like, yeah. I like watching your guys' videos because sometimes, like, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes we learn from our videos. Like, we learn from your guys' videos. I'm not going to lie. Well, you know... It is an education, right? So here, here we go. That's a good, that's a solid question. You watch, you watch the videos and you learn things sometimes. So yeah, I watch your videos. Okay, so if somebody came up to you and asked you a question, mm -hmm. and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights it was something that you should know the answer to, mm -hmm. would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? I would look it up on Google. So yes, you would. Is is what I'm understanding? Yeah, I would try. I mean, as long as I'm not like. Right now, I'm trying to multitask. Yeah, so I mean, if you weren't like in the issue. middle of writing parking tickets, right? You would make a good faith effort? Yes, sir. All right, so 
the the First Amendment of the Constitution. It secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Could you tell me what those five freedoms are? No, but could you? Absolutely, I could. Yes. Can you advise them on them? Can I? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can. But I'm what making you, that. Well, you? it was a, it was a question about good faith, right? Gotcha. So, I asked you yeah, if you would make a good faith effort, and yeah, you and said you you said would. you would. So if you, gave if me like you three minutes? yeah, no, no, if you weren't doing that right now. Oh. So, I'm, I'm actually happy to give you an email address if you wanted to follow up with me later. No, because I don't get my personal email out, and I can't send. Well, I'm not asking for your personal email. I told you I'd give you my email address. Yeah, but how am I going to respond to you? With your Daytona Beach uh, email. Good. It's public record. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... That's all right. You've got to get these parking tickets out before they get in their car and swoop out of here, right? No, if they left, I would just rip it up. <laughs> so... Do you think knowing the First Amendment's important? Do I think it's important? Yeah. Yes, but I also think utilizing resources is even more important. You expand on that a little bit. What do you mean? I didn't understand it. Using resources? Yes. So, like, we all have internet, right? So, no need to know it because you have the internet? Is that what is that what I'm taking away? No. Well, partially. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so what is the? I mean, yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me write that one. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Hang on. Am I always out here? No, I'm not always out here. We're we're friends though. Why do you like James? I actually do. Yeah. I I like James as well. He does uh, he does good work and he's fair and uh, impartial. I think that he uh, helps police officers when uh, when he has the ability to, and I think he tries to hold them accountable for you know the wrong doing that he sees. How long have you been an officer? Uh, twenty twenty one. Okay, well, you enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. Do you write a lot of parking tickets? Heck no. <laughs> okay. Can you see? It takes me like 10 minutes to write one. I thought that you just type stuff in and it printed stuff out. You guys don't have printers? We have printers uh, with like parking tickets because it's just like a basic like between... I can tell you fine. It's between ten and thirty dollars. So, so it's such like a cheap ticket. So we basically they're they're paying to park there. This is what it comes down to. What was that I'm sorry? They're just paying to park there is what it comes down to. Yeah. It's not like like most tickets are like a hundred and sixty six bucks, hundred and sixteen dollars. Yeah. Random like prices kind of thing. But um No, these are just basic like ten dollar tickets. Right they vary yeah, we'll between ten dollars and thirty dollars. Right on. Just like their blackmail, unknown clothing, white shoes. Ah, yeah, we'll check it out. Mm. You put the uh, X-ray twenty-one on. Okay. So the reason I asked about the First Amendment was because because of the oath that you swore. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I mean, I'm listening. Sorry. You, you didn't, no, that's alright. You didn't swear an oath to like know all of the Florida statutes, you know, but like the First right. Amendment's the, it's the first law, you know, it's the, it's the foundation of all law, really. It's, it's, it's our rights, you know. Mm -hmm. You have your own page? 
to do? What's your page for? This is a public service. This is a public service? That's right. On YouTube? Yeah. Only YouTube? Um, yeah, Facebook took my page down. Why? I don't think they like accountability. So I, I asked her a question, but uh, she kind of evaded it a little bit. If uh, if somebody came up to you and asked you a question and you you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights it was something you should know the answer to, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? So the uh, the First Amendment of the Constitution it secures five fundamental freedoms to we the people. Freedom of speech. Freedom to assemble. Freedom to redress. Because you brought that up, like, hey. Well, God, I had it backwards. Freedom of speech. I just had all five of them. Did he just ask you this question? I'm just talking about it. <laughs> I, the, one, the hard one that I forgot that's, that you were writing about. Assembly and redress. Yeah. No, that one, yeah. That was he the one. got me on it, too. I can only name three of them. Yeah. It's press, freedom, and press. Yeah, yeah so you, you didn't, press, you didn't press, tell him the speech. acronym, though? I press, freedom, acronym. press, Raps. freedom, what speech. Is, what's the acronym? Raps, R-A-P-P-S. Religion, assembly, petition, press, and speech. Raps. 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 I mean, hey, that's, that's how you, you learn. You learn. What was your question again? I don't that's remember. What, what are the five what freedoms secured to us by the First yeah. Amendment? So like freedom of speech, freedom of press, yes. religion. Raps, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah I, I apologize for it. I was trying to multitask it. Yeah, you don't, need to, you don't need to apologize. Right there on the, how I was explaining to you, it starts at a $10 fine. And it ends with... Oh, yeah, no, it's a $10 fund. Oh, yeah. that's not bad. So yeah. it starts with a $10 fund and it goes up to 30 okay? Yeah, within 10 days. But it's but. just a basic $10 fund. So just so like $10 you, parking is what so it is. So you go over to Walgreens... $10 parking. Like if yeah. you go over to Walgreens, for example, you pay 10 bucks to park. So it's just it's just a basic $10. I'd mail 10 bucks in, so... It's a steal. Tow? You would tow the car? No, I said I'd mail 10 bucks in. I would mail it in and be like, yeah, I'm done with it. Rather than... Yeah. Anything, so. All right, we'll let you get out here. Thanks, Sarge, man. It's good to see you again. All right, copy that. I was about to, I just when he was on the radio. I, I listen. If you ever talk to me, I hear the radio and I stop talking. I hear the radio, stop talking because it's just habit. We all know. So he was on, he was on motors. Yes. Motors. Yep, and Port Orange screwed me, and that's why I came out yeah. here. I've literally well, read your whole story. I actually like you. Well, Most people don't like you, I like you. That's it. I told you. I actually like it. As being like a new cop, you teach me a lot. That's it. And there's some good stuff we'll be teaching. You got some good stuff. There's no question about it. I mean, like I told you before, when I, all you, if you say you can't stand here, I'm going to be like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. That's what it's going to be. If, if, other than that, I'll come up and have a conversation with you. Or if you come up to me and say, oh, yeah, you called 911 the other night when uh, you were getting your ass beat, didn't you? Didn't you get fired from your job? That's what Bess said to me the other day. Here they come. What? Fireball, go that way. Bess said that to me the other day. He said I got fired from my job and that I was calling 911 because I get my ass beat. Well, did you get out of here? And then you went to Port Orange? Oh, no, I just stayed there. Oh. So now, now that they're back, 
you're still gonna give them the ticket since you already put it on their car? Because you did, you did mention you would you would rip I'm it up though. If they left, like if I was still writing it. Oh. Okay. If they left, right. how am I gonna give right. someone a ticket? Fair enough. Fair enough. Right? How am I gonna give someone a ticket? Fair enough. I don't know. You you still have discretion though, right? Yeah, it wasn't what we did. It no. Way. If it's already written, now if they want to take it down and say, hey. Come on, you still have discretion. We both know it because it's. I, but once that's written. There's, there's discretion, yes, but they're numbered. That's the problem. See, yeah, but no, they're no, not UTCs, there's... but they're numbered. And I don't, and they're numbered with a new. You see the numbers? Yeah, they're numbered. Yeah, but numbers. but if you were filling it out in the car, and they took off, and they took off, I you'd still have to rip it up. Have to write a reason what happened. Yeah. Funny, the last funny one I'll tell you, I was down I mean, there. We're not gonna go chasing after somebody for the park. Well, day. he just yeah. drove off without even knowing it was on his, yeah. on his windshield. Yeah. <laughs> down in Cape Canaveral, they, they have where the, the rocket launches, all that yeah, stuff yeah. go off. You go once you go over the bridge, it's like federal property or whatever. Yeah. Well, I'm down there, and it says it says space space port police or whatever it says on there, and it says <laughs> police. I didn't say federal agency or something. So we're down there. It says you guys can't be here. I said we're on a ride away. And I was like, I'm on a ride away. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. He's like, I gotta issue a citation. I was like, is it UTC? And he's like, nope, it's not a UTC. It's whatever. They're federal. It's a federal code. CFR. Huh? CFR. Is it, it, no, it's a, it's a particular name. It says like, it's like what you got, but different. But he's like, no, it's one. He's, it's a federal UFAC one thing. I was like, you know what? You're right. I I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Uh, he's like. He's like, we're gonna take you back to your car, hop in the back of the car. I'm like, it was with a road. Can you prior law enforcement? It was with a road. That's I'm not prior law We gotta ride back in the car. As soon as he said it wasn't a UTC, I was like, nope, I am not. That's going to Orlando. I don't think so. But it, but I was researching it. Once you jump over there, it's all their property. And they have, an, they have like their CFR that says you can't be out there between, uh, it's like 3 and 7 p.m. Because that's when the flow of traffic comes in. It's just, it's wild. So. Like, nope, I ain't getting that. Show these videos yeah, you're gonna make it because if so I'm gonna watch them. Yeah, I'll, I'll try no, to put one. I have no idea like where the feds Yours is gonna make it. it. It's like nah, I don't it. wanna get involved. What's your page again? They take it they take you straight to <laughs> this the is a public as well. service. They, they book you in the county, but then all your stuff is Yeah, all your stuff's through the fed federal. Is it yes, gonna be like Hi. Hi. That's picking me. Okay. <laughs> is it gonna be like terrible? <laughs> can you take a terrible well no, I mean this is I had to lie to my wife that I was being held. Believe this stuff. <laughs> you were you were at the booby bar, huh? You were at the go-go bar. No. Uh, that's what you're telling me. Disco. Disco. No, yeah. no disco. Global status. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. Yeah. All right, come on, picture. I'll take it for you. You want to take it? I'll do. Oh, you got? For both. <laughs> A little bit. You know she's gonna see it on YouTube too, though. I don't know what that is. No, 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 we don't play. We don't play. I can't, I can't, I can't, no, I can't. no, no handcuffs, no, no, no. Thank you. You get a smiling cop, that's what you get. All right, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll try. I mean, there might be some where this video comes out where it's like rules for thee, not for the, rules for me, not for thee, because of the signs and a million dollar place over here, but I don't know what he's Because you're clearly parked now, right? Oh, yeah. No, we're still talking. <laughs> we're talking. Hey, you want to rush that conversation? We're <laughs> no, it's, no. A, yeah. it's good. Um, we we were talking. I was, maybe I'll ask you. Like, if she asked you to step back, would you have stepped back at that point? While you were at her. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would have gone back to the sidewalk because I was I, I was in her car basically. I mean, I was leaning against yeah. the door. So. Uh, so and this is where. Yeah, so for good officer safety skills, you could legally tell him, hey, you know what, I got some criminal justice information stuff on the That's why if you notice, I turned my computer. I did notice that. I yeah. turned my computer all the way. So yeah. that I, you talk, I gotta turn the lights. Because I, I assume that, I don't know if you guys have to or not. Do you guys blur out like screens? No, I don't. We don't no. need to. Because the point is to show the screen because you're supposed to not let me see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's why like I kind of like turned it so I could see it, yeah. hoping that you would see it. Um, yeah, and, and legally, not to give you advantage on how to handle it, but right there you can say, hey, you know, real quick, I'm going to be getting out of my car here. Uh, I don't know who you are really, just for my safety. It's, you can still film, just go to the front or somewhere where you're not right in my in my close range space like this. I got you. And if you give them that alternative, like you say, you can't film here and you kick them out, then you've got a rights violation. But if you give them that alternative, and the yeah. courts will always side with you. And, and for the viewers up there, I'm not trying to 
give away secrets, but I'm just trying to be able to say that they can do this and tell us that we can film, but not violate our rights. So yeah. that's a little tip to do. So. Sorry. My question to you is now, yeah. how he was standing, would have you stood there just to see how far you, or would have you just automatically gone on like the sidewalk? I don't answer questions. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm dead. You don't have to answer questions. I'm, so, yeah, so, like, if, if I was in that position right there, I would get in there, I'd zoom in, see what's on the computer, and find out if there's information that I can do without having to get without having to pull a, you know, a, a full record. But uh, it's always close for my comfort, so... Every, everybody's a little bit different, you know what I mean? You can... Mm -hmm. You might be comfortable, you might not worry about it, and then yeah. that's where it goes, but... I would have just been, yeah. Have you gotten anything good for truck? The truck week? No, I usually don't go up there and do anything like that because it's just basically too much. There's too much noise, copyright music, and all that. Other stuff, so. What about um, like bike week? Is that the same, same kind thing. of thing? No. Same stuff. It's kind of like it's just a tough place to be because there's too much crowd. I'll find isolated incidents. You don't even talk. tell him that he's got a parking ticket. You just kind of. It's on there, right? <laughs> well, there, there it is, so now he knows. Hey guys. You see those two minutes on the road, and then actually run the show. It's pretty cheap. No, no, no. <laughs> So yeah, like me getting into there, I, I push the limit sometimes, but I just like to film and, and be able to make a video. And when someone tells me like you can't do something, it's just I'm like that little little terror to toddler that's like you can't tell me what to do. And that's why I just am. I don't want to be told yeah. what to do. I'm a grown man. I wear flip flops. He wears loafers. And you <laughs> wear um, some like low tops. I think. Five Elevens. Yeah. yeah. There's basic five Elevens. So I, and that's, I just don't want to tell you, you what to do. I mean, I, I do because, uh, you know, the type of work you do, but most of the time I don't tell any other adult what to do, you know, yeah. except for that, so that's it. Do you miss being a cop at all? So there's a little bit of aspects that I miss of it. When, when you've been here for a little bit, you make some friends, right? You might have a friend that you're like, hey, let's go do something. You're on the same shift, you're on that. And when you leave the police department, you lose those friends almost immediately. And because they're on the same... You're out there on shift work. You're no longer on shift work, more than likely. You might be on a different shift. You don't have the same kind of like, what do they call that? Uh, they call it the blue line game. Yeah, he got the blue line game. But you don't have that same, <laughs> like, what we talk about and the same kind of, it's not goals. What's the word I'm trying to say? Camaraderie? Uh, just like common ground. That would be a bit. You don't, you're not in the same common ground anymore. So you're not like... Hey, what'd you do? Yeah, we had this thing over here to work on the east side. Because that's what cops talk about when they go out. They're like, oh, you don't see what happened the other night. It's yeah. the dumbest thing in the world. Yeah. And that's why I don't like hanging out with cops when I was working. Because it's like, bro, we just were out here in this car chase and we fled this. I'm like, dude, I want to sit here and hang out and relax on the boat and not talk about cop shit. So, yeah, you lose a lot of the friends. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do you miss still it. Ha do you have any cop friends? Nope. None. None. By choice or like both of you guys' choice? Well, even the, even the guy that was in my wedding... Yeah, there. He, was, he was the best man at my wedding. Uh, he won't talk to me because I make videos. What's up? <laughs> he won't talk to me because I make I, I make videos. And I'm like, I'm not a felon or anything like that. Hey, y'all got weed or anything? You literally have a police radio. <laughs> I do. You want to see? Just like the internet? Can I touch it? You can. It's off right now. I think it's off. Because I, when I get around you guys, I, it squelches. It doesn't transmit. It's only receive. So. Is it any channels? Like Every channel. Every yeah. channel, just Volusia County? or All Volusia County. And if you keyed up on that mic right now, it'll pick it up even if I don't have a program in. So it'll pick up on anything, yeah. So FM radio. I don't know if you're familiar with like the apps that you can like download. Um, I know like some of those are like delayed or whatever. Is this delayed at all? So, yeah. It's right there, the same thing. So, so that's we, how you know, like, when like shootings and stuff. Like, like, yeah, so like if you, I'll put it back in pocket so I don't lose it. But the, um, like, channel six and nine, they have one of these sitting in their desk right there, and they have the same thing. They, they listen, they call it the stuff, and we get those calls. I get those calls because I sell to media. And, um, yeah, it's, it's instantaneous. You sell your stuff to the media? Yeah.
It doesn't make good money, but it's, it's between the combination put on my channel and and on the what do you call that uh, stringer. Stringer. You show your work too? Um, no. You but, do this as fun or like a career job? Um, no, I, I, I'm a small business owner, so I do this because uh, I don't like injustice. Were you inspired by someone? Like, did you watch his video? You know, it was, it was all this guy right here. He's just. Really? Uh, <laughs> you better post that. He's probably going to post these screenshots, yeah. But the. Yeah, um, yeah, the, I sell, but like this video probably may make it on my second channel, may not. But you make a little bit of money from Stringer and stuff like that, and it just gives you an opportunity to find out where some of the hot calls are. So doing that, I publish my own, I make my own little articles. So yeah, it's we all are considered modified media. And I was just enjoined in a almost lawsuit in federal court. Were you on that one too or no? That. A federal judge was about to say that YouTubers are not media, and the attorney that I use normally had 25 people that were doing a lawsuit, but the judge said in the courtroom that YouTube uh, personalities are bona fide media. So it worked out good. We didn't have to file any lawsuit. So that's, that's what it is. A lot of people think just because it came out from a cop, it's not newsworthy, it's not news media. Now, if you see a citizen making a mistake, would you film them? Or is it just mostly cops? Since you... Like, is it only cops? Or is it, would you explore other options? Say, if you saw, like, a civilian do something extreme? No, uh, civilians are, are not bound by the law of double and double. So mm -hmm. basically, you know, you're a citizen. And yeah. you're a resident, you're a regular person when you're not here. But at work, you're also a law enforcement officer. You have policy, and you're supposed to know the law and obey the law. But um, the citizens are... We don't run around with a statute book, and we don't run with the extra training. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily film them. I mean, if there's a crime taking place, I mean, I was on an LMP call the other night and saw the guy breaking into a house. I filmed that. Yeah. Do you report that to the cops? I called 911. Yeah. Okay. Because that's that's someone's house that he's trying yeah. to break into. I just didn't know if you were like anti-cops, but kind of just like uh, avoid cops at all costs. Like, yeah, if you come up to my house, like here answering questions I, I don't mind if there's not I'm not suspected of a crime he might be I don't know if he has anything on him weapons on him or anything like that or drugs I, or I don't drugs. answer questions see you would answer, don't answer questions but you don't answer questions of, like is that a well no I think you asked me some questions over there but uh, I mean I'm probably not going to answer a lot of questions if you're going to start getting like, nosy yeah, yeah. What's your address? Or, or my name no, I don't care about any of but no yeah that's uh, Delta five four. What, what was that question you're asking Filming, uh, filming like oh other no do you people? hate do you hate cops yeah. so yeah so Fort Orange created a monster with me I don't do you remember the, what happened to me when Fort Orange did it so she said you I just about. know briefly like I know you were a cop and then you got into a fight or something with your neighbors and you had to call the Fort Orange cops and they ended up screwing you over somehow you got it I, I really appreciate you taking a look at that because a lot of people don't do it like Bess I was saying the other day saying yeah. I get beat up and I call anyone so that's what happened. They wouldn't let me sign stalking charges, and and so I don't I don't necessarily hate cops. I just I don't trust you guys anymore. I don't have any support for you anymore uh, as regards to what happened and then what continues to happen here in Daytona, like the chief and the records. The deputy chief, I think it was, said to the records clerk, "Don't give him the full body camera when the chief arrives." An email, I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like that. And. Uh, when she did that, she was violating the law. You got another one. Now, are you going to tell him? I'm going to tell him. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll let you do it and I'll finish up. As long as he doesn't. Now, the reason why this is a justified, if you will, is because he's going on the wrong side of the street anyway. This isn't a one way street, so he's parked in improperly. That's why I can't see the signs. So, yeah, I had to um, uh, just watch your back here. You know? coming in Make it a little yeah, so that's it it's uh i don't i don't have faith in the system anymore because there's so much injustice like that mm -hmm. you got and i'm not going to put this on here and you know i don't want any nods from you or anything like that or any comments back because uh, but you have people that are choking people with their own t-shirts and lying on ias and they get away with it you know what i mean so that's 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 what i'm saying i just didn't want i don't want you to um have that in there but uh yeah so when that happens and then you have 
another instance where people are unlawfully arrested or you have, what was it, the other day drones were being charged with felonies? Over yeah, two Beachside. felonies? Two felonies for flying a drone over on Beachside here? I've heard that, actually. That's ridiculous. It's I've not heard, a felony to fly a drone. I've heard, is that, I don't, I'm not familiar with that statute. There, there should is be a it, statute. Is it something about, like, you can't be so close to an airport? That's what... No, that would be a CFR. The state, you don't, like, if I ask you to enforce a, a federal law, you can't, you don't... What did she do? Uh, she opposed the law. Uh, yeah. That's true, she does. Yeah. She doesn't help what she enforces. So I got, I got a no, question. That's upholding. It's enforcing. It's upholding. That's true, yeah. I'm and, splitting hairs on my bad. I mean, I'm just thanking her for what she does because, you know, they're underpaid. And, you know, How they much were she paid. An hour? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. They're underpaid. How much she make an hour? So it, it, there wouldn't the same be. Same is a, a public school teacher. Oh, uh, it's much more than a public school teacher. Twenty dollars an hour or something. No, it's more. Than, it's like twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-two. That's not bad. Yeah. I'm from Mississippi. Oh. So yeah. Forgive oh. my ignorance. Yeah, that's all right. Well, I'll forgive your ignorance. That's so, okay. Teachers are definitely underpaid. Yeah. They yeah. have to oh, yeah. no children. Doubt. No doubt. And, and in my state, no one would be where they are today without So I thank them every single day for what they do. Man, Mississippi. Mississippi's got some bad police. Look up on your oath. He was just a friend of mine that got stuffed in the back of a car. Guess what sign he was holding? Oh yeah. God bless the homeless vets. No, I look. I had a friend of mine. He he was a capital city police. His day off got shot in the back of the head in his off-duty vehicle. You could say anything. Anything. Yep. He'd still lick the boots. Yep. It is Wouldn't even it matter. Is. So thank you. See? For what you do. Don't drive, all right? Yup. No. Hell no. Walk. Yeah, good. Good to see you, brother. Anybody needs a ride, put them on that mustache. <laughs> so, so back to that. You do have a sense of humor. I like it. I do. It's My sense of humor is really fucking great. <laughs> Come ride with me in the car sometime. You love it. But, uh, yeah, so it's distrust and just all that bad stuff that happened to me. I tried to file complaints. So, yeah, they, they really fucked me. And they created, I'd say, a monster for them. But I did. You were a cop prior to that moment that happened with Portland. Yeah, I was at least from 99 to 2008. And then I stopped being that. And then this happened in 2013. Nine years? Yeah, I think so. Can you, can you get any, like, do you have a pension or I have anything? a pension or retirement. Damn, and you good over so there? I did all that. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's good. I'll be able to collect my, my government check after a while, but, um, but yeah, a lot of people don't like what we do. Um, just like when he said thank you, I just had to, what did she do? I mean, I I, yeah. I knew he was walking himself into something. Yeah. So I was like, I. He's that's more funny. wittier than I am. He has, I know, when he talks to people, it's like that. I'm usually just like, all right, you're going to get out of here and don't get know. in your car and do Watch a 10 8. The first sign thing that you're going to say is eight. like, you can't tell me what to do. I said, well, let's we'll sit here and figure out who leaves first because you're going to get in that car and go 10 8. That's the fun shit. Yeah. And I'll put a thousand dollars in each homeless charity that says I will be here off the market longer than you were. And uh, you know, so. how often do you have to charge? Uh, how often do you have to charge your phone? Uh, in the car. It's, you down by your car. it's running all the time. So like I have this one too. Oh, she so okay. Yeah. Why don't you get a camera like him? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's for professionals. I'm just an amateur. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, he's got the GoPro like that, and if you look at it, he has to have this separate battery over here. And this thing looks like uh, one of those picture. things that you have in the. Can you see so on the other it. side? I like, can if I like right so now. So you could like you could, like you could look in. Okay. So it's not always on, and I usually don't because it's such a wide angle. Mm -hmm. I just have it back, and it you know it's catching everything. Gotcha. Yeah, not it's not personal information because it's on your resume. Or what did you do before you did police work? I what did I do? I worked at Splash Car Wash. In Port Orange? Orange? Yeah. That's where I remember your face from. Really? Yeah. Yep, because uh, what's the was the manager's name that was Tori? there? Tori? No, Rob? The, uh, the, yeah, Rob. He's got the one. He has like sideburns, dark hair. Long hair, uh, handlebar mustache? No. Yeah, it's Rob. Josh? Yeah. This is Rob before he had the mustache a while ago. Okay. Yeah. That's it. So I was like, oh. yeah. I always recognize faces, but I can't remember the names. So that was it. It's the only other place I worked at when I lived in Florida. Yeah, so, yeah. so how old are you? I am 21. Wow. I'm feeling old. I'm 40. That's why, like... So you started this when you were 18? 
Yeah, I went to the academy at 18, got hired at 19. Huh. I went wild. through like some technical difficulties and yeah, kind of got all of that fun stuff. But. Yeah, as they wanted you to be 19 when you start the, or finish the academy. They want you to be 19 at that point. <laughs> That's what like, I know you're not a cop anymore. But you still probably read up on the walls. And, I have to. And learn about everything. That's why I'm standing here talking to you. Because, yeah. I mean, you could probably teach me a lot. Even though I'm still a current cop, you've been a cop for nine years. So you probably still have more knowledge than me. Well, sure. I think it comes down to he, he definitely has more knowledge. Just yeah. because he was forced to actually know statutes where he couldn't rely on Google. Yeah. You know, so. I do actually have a statute book like that. Old statute book. Is it a blue cover? It's the gold one. The gold, yeah, yeah. G O U L D, yeah. I was just talking. To you. I was talking about that. Yeah, up in Flagler. Yeah, and that's what we, we were talking about in Flagler. Like all the statues there. If you like, I mean, I mo remember still most of the statutes for like seatbelts. Uh, Three sixteen six one four four B. I mean, I just oh, like with them. traffic, I have a like a handheld traffic book. Yeah. And I look through that like the paper. Yeah. But um, we were like with Google, we can we have to look stuff up. You can rely on that. We had to. Like, hey, what is the what's an unlawful horn? You have to you have to look through that statue. But we didn't have Google back then, and a lot of the guys didn't. So yeah, you, I don't know. Did if you I, guys have computers? Like, I put the computers in the cars when I was working there. I was the one that like set it up and did it because I was tired of it. It's like, but what I did is, um, uh, I don't think that I know more than her because it's just you, you reach a pinnacle of like you know things. But I know what I need to know to the book to be out here and make videos. Yeah. Like everything, like crossing this walk right over no, here. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just like, saying, like in general, like in life in general, you probably you mean you have more life experience. Yeah, there's a little bit more in like talking to people. Um, that's the whole goal is talking to people and how you can be it. Like for instance, when you walked up to the car up there, it's like if it was me, I would have been I would have been uh, in a uh, like a downward tone. Like, hey man, I'm so sorry. I had to write a ticket. We're out here. These signs are up here. Uh, but there was a little bit different of a communication. Did you catch it a little bit? It was like more like it was coarse. I didn't catch yeah. it. No. What was do you like, mean so it was like I don't, I'd have to watch it back. But I just remembered I was like, oh, I said something like, yeah, I mean, I had to give you a ticket, and then I don't know if it was the sergeant that said it's only a ten dollar ticket, or if it was you, but it might have been, yeah. Just a just a more personal thing. So talking to people is really important. I don't stand here with my body language like cross my arms. Or, like, like, we both do it because our cameras rest perfectly. And the male said he was to come back and but uh, body so language reading and all that is so male, important. No you'll learn it over time and you'll see. But and right now I'm doing what you do is like scanning, looking around my whole direction. Correction, so, it'll so be a white male about five seven, dark hair, white shirt, multicolored pants, unknown deity. Learning life experience and learning how people work and how you can manipulate people is the best thing in the world. I mean. Once you learn that you can talk to anybody, just like over here, when we were driving over, he was giving me a shoulder rub and stuff, hey, but he didn't realize he was doing it. Of, uh, <laughs> just like, but, in your cars now. but you can get anybody to do anything like that you know, and just try to properly communicate with them. You know, so. yeah, it's almost that time. You're like, I'm ready to get ready and get out of here. It's bar close. No. Yep. So, I gotta grab my phone. I appreciate you guys I told you. I read it. Very nice to meet no, you. I appreciate you guys yes. talking to me. Yeah, if you want to, just, uh, we'll see, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to put something up there. We might, there might be a little bit of blast. I'm like, oh, here we go, get in the parking lot. But I have your page saved, and I watch your videos, so I'll start showing you some love and watching your videos. Oh, right? he's pretty decent. I'll, uh, I'll compare. He's better, right? He is, I'm telling you. When you start, really? Yep. Who has better quality of videos? No. Yes, you have. He has an intro video that says, Dong, dong, dong. This is a public <laughs> service. I don't have that. It's like, all right, we're back. We're going to watch these two cops fuck with this guy right here. And here we go. Beep, 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 beep. Look at this guy. So he has better quality, I promise. All right, see you later. All right, that's the sergeant again. What do you want to do? Get the fuck out of here and get on the back home? Or you want to see if there's any break loose with the fucking bars coming down? Let's do that. Yeah. So you had just told him the First Amendment and then he couldn't even remember fucking five minutes later? I, I said it all backwards. I don't think I said it all properly. I was so excited. I was genuinely excited when he went like this. That's why I was over here. <laughs> That's why I was over here and I was like, I was like, oh, like that. Because so. not one cop fucking ever has gotten it right. Ever. What is the acronym? RAPS or something? RAPS. R-A-P-P-S. Religion Assembly, Press, 
Religion? And I can't do it when it's like that. Religion? Assembly Press. Fuck, what is it? Religion? Well, you say redress, but it's not redress. It's petition. You petition for redress. That's what it is. All right, here we yeah. go. So that's where the second P comes in. Yeah. I'll fucking learn it too. Right, uh, now you got it. What's S then? Speech. See, I got it all fucked up then. Right, yeah, because you want to lead off with speech because yeah, that's, that's the most important that's one. Do, yeah. yeah. We're out here today to ensure our natural rights are respected by those who swore an oath to support, protect, and defend the rights of the people. The purpose of all interactions is to peacefully promote government accountability and transparency. Please like, share, and subscribe so this message can reach as many people as possible. I implore you to peacefully seek redress to any and all of your grievances. This is a public service.